Okay, so hello everyone, it's Jill Beauty 87 here, and today we're gonna get into a battle of the concealers. So when I first got this Giorgio Armani um luminous silk concealer, it made me think of a concealer, but I couldn't remember which one it was. And then I saw a clip of the NYX Born to Glow concealer um on Instagram when I was um scrolling through looking at stuff, and I was like, that's the concealer that reminds me of. These two concealers remind me of each other because they both like sheer and luminous but they give a little bit of coverage so i wanted to see if they would compare to each other so i was like today we're gonna try both these out and see how they wear now i'm already doing a battle of the foundations which is why i already have my foundation on i just told y'all in the next video that you get to see how all these products lay when i do the concealer video so um let's go ahead and get started with the concealer video so um let me see um i'm trying to figure out which color is going to be best to match this luminous silk so i'm gonna swatch it on my hand real quick and then i'm gonna swatch both those and then that'll help us determine which one is gonna be which okay so this is what it looks like now i just need to figure out which um of these works i'm thinking it's gonna be golden honey but let's see i think golden honey is actually a little bit darker than that one let me see but if i remember correctly golden was lighter so we might just have to go with golden, honey. So, yeah. Actually, I think we're just going to go ahead and go with golden. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go with golden. So, I'm going to say golden and luminous silk. Luminous silk is going to go on this side. Golden is going to go on that side. This one retails for 38 and the um, next one will it, will it, uh, retails for 10 So, now I'm not going to do my um, middle of my nose. Just because I have to try to figure out which one is which. So I'm going to just keep it simple and conceal the places I know will be easiest to blend out. So I'm going to do that one. And then I said we were going to take this color golden right here and put this underneath the eye and other places. So let's do that real quick. I feel like the consistency is the same. I feel like the um this one feels a little bit more hydrating. I don't know if it's because of the sponge tip, but... It's feeling a little bit more hydrating to me. But I feel like the consistency of them feels the same. So. Now the golden one is a little bit light, but I feel like the golden honey is a little bit dark. So again, that's why we just went with this one. But um, I got two concealer brushes to use. So let's grab those out real quick. I got the, um, was it Mr. Cover Up brush from... It Too Faced, and then I got this Sigma Precision Tapered P86. So I'm just going to go ahead and use these to blend out the concealer underneath the eyes. But I'm using the sponge and just flip it. So this side we're going to use for Shiseido, and then obviously the other side we're going to have to use for the other one. So I mean, Shiseido, I mean, Luminous Silk. So the Luminous Silk blends out nice and easy, but so does the other one. So we just. Nicely blending that out. Now I'm going to flip it over to that side and do the NYX. Okay, so now I'm going to go underneath the under eyes. Y'all know I usually like to put two sets of concealer on underneath the eyes, so I'm going to go with this first set. I tried to let it sit for a little bit, so we'll give a little bit more coverage since this is like a light to nothing coverage concealer, but I didn't want to put a whole bunch of, um, I didn't want to put concealer on beforehand. I wanted to show the true um, way both the concealers perform, because normally I put like, a dark one underneath there to start off with, but I want you to see how they really perform so you'll have an idea of what you have to look forward to if you're just going to use one concealer. I don't really use one concealer, but you know, I know other people do, so I don't want anyone to feel like. Okay, so, so now we're going to just blend it out real quick. Go ahead and flip it over. Blend it out real quick. And as you can see, it gave nice brightness underneath both eyes. As you can see, you still see my darkness. It's not giving enough coverage because, you know, it is a luminous one. So it's going to be light to like medium coverage at best. Now I'm going to put the second layer on because I always do two layers of concealer. I don't care what concealer it is. I always do two. So 
So I'm just going to stick to that. And now we need to put some on each cheek. So. Y'all almost screwed up and <laughs> tried to put it on the other one. Now we're going to say golden again and put some more on this side. Because the sponge is uh, applicator, I feel like more comes out of this one than it does out of the Giorgio Armani one. So, just bear that in mind. What? Mm. So, while I'm letting that sit, I am going to cream contour so we can give a little bit more time to get a little bit more coverage out of the concealer. Um, I got my Cocoa Bite Stick. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to use next because, as y'all can see, I'm like halfway done with this. So, I'm like, once I get done with this, I need to figure out what other cream contour I can use. Oh, has anybody started shopping um, the Sephora VIB sale? Because I did. I found <clears throat> they have the Natasha Denona palettes on sale that I told you all about in that older um, eyeshadow palettes on sale iron video. So, I was super excited about that. So, I grabbed both of those. And I also grabbed a couple of those little Viseart palettes because they were on sale. So I'm like, I'm excited about those because I've been wanting to try some of the shimmers forever and I never have. I, I still want to grab the Koi palette and they actually responded to me when I had told, wrote online when I posted that new picture you all about how I wanted to try it. They responded to me and I was shocked. I was like, oh, wow. Like, I thought I was somebody for a whole day, y'all. Like, couldn't tell me nothing. I asked my mama, I told her, I was like, child, you can't tell me nothing. She just started laughing at me. I'm like, I'm so serious. I'm like, what, what you gonna tell me? You can't tell me anything. Like, then we are responded to my post. Like, you, you can't tell me anything today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out now. I need the eye. And I'm gonna take the sponge for each side and blend out the, um, cheeks so and then blend it up into you know the eye of course but I just like to tap it out with that ahead of time so this is the one for the Armani side I'm going to most likely put a brightening powder on in there in addition to using some setting powder to try to help that area out since I'm not getting the coverage I normally get but you know so it's just for one day and thank goodness I don't have to go anywhere, like for real, for real. Although I feel like the Born to Glow is a little more luminous than the um, Giorgio Armani, as weird as that is. Yeah, I feel like it's a little bit more luminous. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and set. I'm going to use my Patrick Star and um, Mac setting powder. I've been using this stuff in forever. I used to hoard it because I was like, I don't want to, you know, run out. But I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna have to run out anyway, and I'd rather run out instead of it like you know go to waste so anyway I'm gonna blow up like I'm planning on setting my creases <laughs> this powder just sits beautifully underneath the eyes and just all over the face in general Patrick did that so blow up and let me And then all the other places on the face I highlighted, we will go ahead and put some powder there as well. So I'm going to do my shimmer real quick. I'm going to use this Shiseido foundation powder to set the rest of the face. So that's why I said only places I highlighted were going to set with setting powder today. I normally would do setting powder and then put this on top, but I just didn't feel like doing that today. So I was like, we're just going to work with this. So Okay, so that worked. Um... <clears throat> Now let me use the Alamar Bronson palette. I actually really like this palette. It's gonna be my second time using it. I'm gonna take the darkest shade and use that one and then I will put this one on top when it's time to actually bronze. Right now I'm just trying to set the um, the contour that we put down. So, but this stuff is amazing, absolutely amazing. The face looks small. I mean, look at that color. It just looks gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Just blow that off. 
and go ahead and bronze this side. I try not to make videos super long, but at the same time, I still want to like see what my normal routine is. And for a longer time, I couldn't do that. So I guess because I do it on my phone, that's why I enjoy doing it. That's why the videos are like longer now because I used to not be able to do this. And like, I like that I can now. So, bronze. Yeah, that bronze looks really nice. Um, crap. Yeah, take my foundation powder brush this is the elf in what's her name um the bella noir and we're just gonna take the shiseido powder and start dusting it all over the face well we did not set the face and i absolutely love this powder I just think it is amazing. And it just like the um, foundation doesn't like break up on the skin, which is another thing I really appreciate. Because if you have a foundation that like tries to break up, if you put this on top, it helps with that. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it's gonna do all the work, but it will help with that whole situation. Now we're going to spray the face. And I figured we can use Kirsten's Prism Glow Palette today. I think that's what it's called. I'll have to check the back of it very quickly. But let me see. Oh yeah, Prisma Glow. I was right. I'm going to use that palette today along with the Alamar Blush Palette. Just because, you know, I haven't used that in a while. And I want to use the Under Eye Brightening Powder like I told you all. So let's spray the face to soak all of this goodness in. And then we will... Finish up the rest of the face real quick. But I must say, it's looking pretty bomb. With all my products on, hopefully you won't be able to tell I got on two different foundations and two different concealers. Because I actually cannot tell. And I put it on, so how about that? Okay, so now we're going to get into the um, bronzer. So I'm just take the cinnamon sugar color right here. I always want to call it brown sugar. I don't know why. I, it makes me think of that D'Angelo song, brown sugar. So we're just going to bronze all up and through here. I think I'm actually going to bronze my forehead today too, you guys, since, you know, I don't have on. Um, I'm not going to put on a hat when I go to the store. So I'm going to bronze up the hairline real quick. You know, I might pull the headband down a little bit, but you know, I'm still going to bronze it. And this bronzer is amazing. It's only 25 bucks, and then they give you two bronzers and a brightening powder on your side. That's unheard of. Just unheard of. But, you know, I will definitely take it because a lot of folks be want to charge way more. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take the under eye brightening powder in golden hour and i'm using their brush that's supposed to be for brightening and i lightly dust that underneath the eye real quick i just usually just kind of swipe it underneath there as you can see and then she'll wipe her motions kind of at her bring it down a little bit and then put a little bit right up in here and then a little bit on the chin a little bit on the actual cheek area itself before we put on the um blush so we're gonna do blush and then we will do the highlighter so like i said we're gonna use the alamar blush palette um i'm thinking i'm going to use the bright one because i usually don't use this one i usually mix like these two together so i'm gonna try this one today And I like to heavily blush, so that's why I keep putting more and more on. There we go, okay. Because if it's not a primary infused blush, I have a tendency to use more than I normally would because I'm like, I know um, it's not going to stay on all day. So it'll wear off throughout the day and then, you know, I don't look as, people like to say clownish. But I don't think it's clownish, I like it. That's 
Ooh. Okay. Now, let's get to Kirsten's palette, and then you all will get a check in later on today to um, tell you how this is working out. Now, I haven't bought the individual glow cream, so that's why I want to use this one so we could use a skin glow from Kirsten since I haven't bought them yet. But I'm going to use this, and then I'm probably going to mix Golden Hour and Fire Glow together. That's what I normally do. So, go ahead and Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's pigmentation. Okay, Kirsten, come through with it. I like the fact that this can go over like liquid. I mean, over powder products will be fine because I'm rubbing it on this powder and it is just fine. It does not disturb anything. My foundation is not picked up or anything like that. So, you did that, Kirsten. And I'm here for a girl. It's a lie. Okay, so, let's get a little bit more on this side. Sorry, y'all. I got it all in the way. A little bit more. I like the fact that she did um, skin glow instead of just doing like a tube or something like everyone else is doing. I also feel like she comes with her own little creative way of a spin on stuff that's already existing. And I always appreciate that about her brand too because it's like she comes up with like the unique color story. She comes up with her eyeshadow palettes and things like that. Like I notice and appreciate stuff like that. So I'm definitely down for it. And I hope you also get advantage of the deals that on her eyeshadow palettes right now because her eyeshadow palettes on Beauty Bay are um, one of them is... Um, the newest one is $29.50, no, $29.50 for the Latte 2 palette. And then the, um, the Celestial Storm, the one she came out with before that, is on sale for $30.75. So go take advantage of that if you can afford to and if you've really been looking to try those palettes because I think that's an amazing deal. Anyway, you all, I'm um, just highlighting to the heavens and the gods above. You know, I used a little bit too much, but you know, what's new? I always use a little bit too much highlighter, but once I spray my face and like sponge it down, it won't be as crazy looking. Plus, you know, there's just a little bit of a glittery highlighter, so I figure some of it's gonna fall off anyway. And then, you know, I should be good. Um, so, we're gonna finish off spray in the face i'm gonna do a lip and all that later so you don't have to worry about that um so that pretty much completes this look mm. yeah so spraying down it won't look as crazy in a few minutes So this is a completed face with two different foundations and concealers on. Can you tell? Tell me which side you like better. Do you like the left side or do you like, sorry, do you like the right side? Is my right your left or do you like the left side? Leave a comment down below. But anyway, I will give you all an update later. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember y'all in dimes. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone. So this is our makeup update. It is 5 30 i want to say and i put this makeup on around one o'clock so i figured it'd be a good time to do a check-in um as you can see the mascara is still looking nice i noticed some fail right here though if you didn't notice and this is the abh side i don't know when that happened but it's there anyway um so uh i like the abh mascara just fine y'all know i already like the fenty one it's okay um as far as the foundations go Let's see. This is the Milani side and this is the Synchro Skin side. I think both sides actually look pretty good. Um, I still wouldn't say that they're comparable, if you will, since I added all my powders and stuff on. And since I added the Synchro Skin powder, I feel like that might be helping out the Milani side a little bit as far as making my skin tone match better. Because y'all know when I use this foundation, it always makes my skin darker. Even without the, um, what is the e.l.f. powder or whatever that I tried with the first time, which I thought made it darker, it still looks darker. So, I mean, I like it better with that powder, so um, I might actually hold on to it now as opposed to getting rid of it like I talked about. But um, 
I still wouldn't say it wears better than the Shiseido Synchro Skin side. I feel like this side matches my face better than this one. It's still a little bit darker, darker even with the Synchro Skin powder. So that's my view on it. Now, as far as these concealers go, um, let's see. This is Giorgio Armani and this is NYX. I feel like they look about the same so far. Um, I feel like this side looks a little bit brighter than this side. I, it might be the brightening powder I put on. I'm not sure, but... um. You know, there's that. Um, everything looked like it's wearing pretty nicely, though. Um, my lipstick has worn off because I um, ate some yogurt. But we weren't testing that, so that doesn't matter. Um, everything we tested um, is looking pretty good. Um, the blush is actually lasting still, which I'm shocked about. Because I wouldn't put so much on if I thought it was going to like stay on as well. But, you know, I've only used this blush palette. I think this was my third time using it, so that might be why it um i wasn't sure about how long it was gonna wear but um anyway yes yeah, so those are my thoughts on these products i'll try to check in one more time before i go to bed tonight so probably around like eight nine o'clock hopefully i'll remember to do so but if not you have my final thoughts so.